Guys, the question says in the experimental setup of meter bridge shown in the figure, the null point is obtained at a distance of 40 cm from point A. If a 10 ohm resistor is connected in series with R1, the null point shifts by 10 cm. The resistance that should be connected in parallel with R1 plus 10 such that the null point shifts back to its initial position. Now we need to understand this guys that when you have the resistance on the left gap increased by 10 ohm definitely the length over there will also increased by 10 cm which means this null point will shift towards B. So I hope this part is clear first of all. Now you want to connect a resistance in parallel with R1 plus 10 such that the null point comes back to its original position. Here if you understand we are not changing the wire, not the battery, not the value of R2, not the galvanometer, nothing else. The only thing we are changing is R1. First we change R1 to R1 plus 10 and then we want the R1 plus 10 to be connected with some unknown resistance so that we get the same value again, so that we get the same balancing length again, which means we want the R1 to be back. Guys, I hope this part is very clear to you because this is very important. We want R1 to be connected with 10 ohm and then we want the R1 plus 10 to be connected in parallel with something such that we get the balancing length back, which means we get the R1 back. So here if I say R1 by R2 for the first case was 40 upon 60. Because 40 was the balancing length, the total has to be 100. So 100 minus 40, this part will be 60. So we get this as 2 by 3. Now if I add R1 with 10 ohm, we get the equation R1 plus 10. R2 remains as it is. And here the null point shifts by 10. Obviously, that shifts towards B, which means 40 increases by 10, becomes 50, and upon 100 minus 50 will also become 50. And so this ratio is 1. So we can say here R2 is actually equal to R1 plus 10. Definitely we can substitute that R1 plus 10 over here, and we can write R1 upon R1 plus 10 as 2 by 3. So now if we cross multiply, we get 3R1 is equal to 2R1 plus 20. Now 2R1 goes on the other side becomes minus. So R1 we get it as 20 ohm. So now we want the R1 plus 10 to be connected in parallel with some unknown say x to get the value of R1 again. Which means we want R1 plus 10 into x upon R1 plus 10 plus x. This is the parallel equivalent of R1 plus 10 and the unknown x to be equal to R1 itself. So this is what we want. So can I say we already know the value of R1. So 20 plus 10, 30x upon 30 plus x is something we want to be 20. So definitely we can cancel this 0 over here and then go for cross multiplication which gives 3x is equal to 60 plus 2x. So 2x goes on this side and so we get the value of x as 60 ohm. So if we connect 60 ohm in parallel with R1 plus 10, we get the value of R1 or the null point same as the initial thing.